My name is Madam, my name is Charis, I'm a PhD medical student from UPM. Today I'm in charge of a vaginal delivery. Before that, I'd like to do an abdominal and also vaginal examination to assess your progress of labor. Is that okay for you? If your os is fully dilated, you'll be conducting the delivery. Before that, I'd like to sanitize my hands. Madam, I'll be exposing your body from your, below your breast to your pubic hairline. I'd like to do a general inspection, do a superficial palpation for any tenderness, irritability. Madam, if there's any pain, feel free to tell me. Next, I'd like to time for the contraction for 10 minutes. After that, I'd like to identify the lie and presentation of the fetus. I would also like to confirm the, the head engagement of the fetus. I would also like to assess the estimated fetal weight and also lycra volume. After that, I will cover the patient up. That's all for abdominal examination, madam. Prior to touching the patients, I would like to wash my hands. After that, I will dry my hands and wear gloves. After that, I will monitor the labor progress by doing vaginal examination. Madam, I will be doing vaginal examination to monitor your labor progress. I will expose the vulva region. Make sure the patient is in dorsal recumbent position. Clean the vulva region with cotton soaked with normal saline. After that, I would like to lubricate my fingers. Madam, I will be inserting my fingers. I would like to assess for the Bishop score, which includes cervical dilatation, cervical effacement, cervical consistency, cervical position, and also fetal station. After that, I also like to feel for any molding and, and also the membrane status to feel if there is any cord presentation. And also assess for the Lyqua color. These are the equipments we'll be needing for spontaneous vertex delivery. Placenta basin, galipot, syringe and needles, umbilical cord clamps, umbilical cord scissors, urinary catheter, sanitizer, kidney dish, cottons and pads, episiotomy scissors, locking forceps, and also sterile gloves. Other than that, we should also prepare for pitocin, lignocaine, and sutures. Upon the second stage of labor, I would like to encourage the mother to bear down. Madam, the cervical ox is fully dilated. You are now ready for delivery. Feel free to push. I would like to support the perineum. Make sure the patient is in lithotomy position and assess for any need of episiotomy. During the delivery of the head, I would like to ensure that the perineum is supported by my right hand and my left hand will apply gentle traction to maintain the head flexion. Once the head is delivered, I would like to look out for a cord round neck and allow for head restitution. After the restitution, I like to do a gentle traction downwards to deliver the anterior shoulder. Once the anterior shoulder is delivered, I like to administer IN pitocin. I like to do a gentle traction upwards to deliver the posterior shoulder and then the rest of the baby. Upon delivery of the baby, I'd like to show the mother for gender identification. Congratulations, ma'am. Your baby is out. Place the baby on the mother's abdomen for skin-to-skin -skin contact and do early cord clamping. Make sure there's a click. Cut the cord uh, using a umbilical cord scissors. I would like to obtain the cord blood to send for the blood group, serum glucose, bilirubin, thyroid stimulating hormone, and also G6PD status. Active management of third stage of labor includes IM pitocin, 
uterine massage, early cock camping, and also control cock traction. Prior to that, I'll ensure that there's signs of placenta separation, which includes firm and globular uterus, lengthening of the cord, and gushing of blood. I'll apply gentle pressure and I'll apply to the fundus towards the direction of the mother. And on my right hand, I will do a gentle traction to deliver the placenta. Once the placenta is out, I would like to inspect for any missing cartilidin to look out for any extra vessels, posts or loops. Make sure that the placenta is complete and take a look at the umbilical cord. I would like to ensure that there is one umbilical vein and two umbilical arteries. After that, I would like to weigh the placenta. Upon the delivery of baby and the placenta, I would like to inspect the vagina and do a vagina examination to look out for any perineum tear, whether there's any needs for repair, remove the remaining clots, and also if there's any foreign body, and also retain placenta. After that, I would like to estimate the blood loss and also clean the perineum. Place the pad and cover the patient. Madam, you successfully delivered the baby. I've cleaned your perineum and covered you up. Finally, I would like to ensure that there's a proper documentation of the delivery.